Hey guys, Jay Games here again. This week we're talking to Michi with a legendary delinquent. <clears throat> In honor of season two of Tokyo Revengers coming out, and I knew it came out, I just didn't get time to watch it. This is going to be a what if for Takamichi. Now, my phone is broken, so I did not have time to, well, get a new one. I also just, well, it's not fully broken, but the touchscreen does not work. Eh, oh well. Alright, let's go. So we start off with Takamichi being, well, I'll start off with his power. This is a safe bet, in my opinion. Takamichi's power would consist of that made up of, others, of other characters and Tokyo Avengers. The reason for this would be that Takamichi's power being made up of others would be, I think, impressive. Legendary would be the powers of other legendary characters, at least in layman's terms for this story. Endurance. I think they could be made up of Mikey, South, Baji, Taiju, and Hanma. Hanma is only known for his endurance, which allowed him to keep up with Draken. Taiju. Taiju is six foot five, pure muscle. Taiju is nothing but a tank. With firepower, able to be able to match that title. Baji beat fifty slightly advanced teenagers with a knife in his back. What about that does not scream endurance? South, same for Baji. He is well, he's nineteen. But seven foot one and nothing but a tank. So Taiju times two. Or Taiju squared. Mikey. Main character. Or basically the main character. What else what else could you do? Strength. South, Taiju, Akai. The best the best powerhouses in the series. Why wouldn't I include them? Bell IQ, strategic ability, and intuition. Baji. Draken, Kasaki, Kasaki, main villain, Draki, Draki, Draken, a sub assistant character, I'd say, supporting, Budgie, he left his home, he left the game with his best friend to go assist, well, Mikey, not work to go assist Mikey from the shadows, yeah. Skill, Senju, Izuna, Mitsuya, Budgie, Mikey sticks to one martial art, one technique. His hands, good. His finisher, one kick, always the same. Izuna, Senju, Mitsuya, Baji, switch it up. Best skill. Dragon's the street fighter, we you know this. Everyone else here, we've seen take martial arts. They have they have the best skill. Hina's an honorable mention as she's been seen to do karate and be able to break through Takamichi's endurance and well well his durability pretty well. Probably just probably, probably just for gags, but still counts up. Takamichi is a legendary delinquent of his era, the fact that he's able, able to fend off school from anyone else. Mizuya had tried once recruiting Mitomon, Takamichi said no. This, he's been intended to be recruited by, by, by many others, but he's always said no, being able to fend off the likes of Taiju Shiba, the Invincible Mikey, and more. When a new era of delinquents arose, he stopped them all. Takamichi first felt his first loss at, well, at a train station, and taking a metal bat to the back of the head. They made him bleed a bit, but he was not fully defeated. Following up, four more bats to the face, made him stumble to his knees, and onto the train tracks. Before you being hit, he ended up being grabbed by the hand and transported to the past. In the past, Takemichi would relatively meet, not relatively, I don't know that, he would meet his friend, Akun Yamagishi Yamamoto Suzuki, and Takemichi for height. I had a reference for that, so I needed to go check that real quick. Takamichi's height is roughly estimated, I'd say, for this story, using a few different uh, numbers for height, weight, so and so. Takamichi's height is roughly about, I'd say, five foot nine. I told him before, as he stood about five foot four, five foot five foot five, around there. So equal height to Baji. But his build is a little really similar to Taiju, pure muscle, and it's obvious. Now, Takamichi's friends were equally as strong as he was, because Takamichi treated them like the like how Taiju treats the black dragons. Loyal, respectful, but he trains them. He trains them well. Each of Takamichi's uh, friends should be able to contend to at least a division captain of Tomon. Only exceptions... <coughs> only exceptions being 
Pachin, Payan, Smiley, Angry, Baji, Mitsuya. So most of the exceptions. Muto is nothing but an endurance monster. He knows a bit of judo, but we've only seen him use one throw, that's all. So, yes, Kamiji's friends can contend most captains, but their vice captains are the main problems. Good old Payon is as strong as a captain. Akai, captain. Uh, what else? Angry, beyond captain. Vice captains is what, is what, is what makes him struggle, that is all. But yes. So, going on. What was it? I need to think about this for a sec. I haven't watched a convention in a while, and I don't have time to write a script. Well, I do, but... Oh, yeah, by the way. Recently, I did get a computer from, as a gift. But it's a pretty shitty one, so I'm gonna see if I can make, like, a video. I like calling it shitty because it's a gift. But also, that computer from, 2000, like, from 2008. So, I don't, I don't know how well it runs. So, yeah. Now, Takemichi. Takemichi still beat Kiyomasa in this one. Or, still, in this one, he beat Kiyomasa like he has in the past. Kiyomasa was more or less a lackey under him. Which led to Takemichi's beating him, which is what mainly made him rise to stardom. Takemichi's defeated Kiyomasa, and predicted his name in the Lincoln world. I was like, oh, Kiyomasa's not a relevant character. This one, he's not either. Takemichi beat him in a single punch. That one punch didn't land on the face. The temple, the jaw. No. Takemichi didn't even punch him. He slapped him. That slapped, slap it left Taiju in, in the ground, uncon not Taiju. They could do the same to Taiju, but it left Kiyomasa in the ground, unconscious, barely able to even think after a uh, few hours. Takemichi's friends wiped out his cousin and the lackeys relatively easy, same as before. Takemichi goes to Hina, and, well, long story short, Takemichi being a bit more brash, a bit more brave. Had some special loving with Hina before, so him and Hina are a bit more close than before. Now, going on. Takemichi would go on, and he still goes back to the past. But first, he saved, he saved Naoto from some bullies, and teaches Naoto where to hit in a fight. Telling Naoto... Jaw, nose, temple, pit of the stomach, hot top of the foot. Or, right here, liver. That's where you aim. Now it's all nodded, then Takemichi, they shake hands, they part. Takemichi was saved by, was saved by, by, by Naoto. Naoto even happens to be a lot stronger in the story. Probably about as strong as, well, adult, adult Kakujo. Naoto, after learning, after learning for that basic of fighting, Takemichi took up boxing. Takemichi, for martial arts, is a jack of all trades, but mainly prefers boxing. He has self-taught boxing and self-taught taekwondo. So yes, they recognized kickers for martial arts, so they kind of copied with copied their kicks, and it was just really rough taekwondo. Thing for the punches, but he punches more often than not, so boxing is a bit more good. Takemichi ends up going on with Naoto getting his information shared. Takemichi heads back to the past where Kiyomasa, with a small army or militia, was ready to fight Takemichi. Takemichi simply told his friends that he will test them. He, he pushes Yamagishi in front of Kiyomasa's group, telling Yamagishi, telling Yamagishi or Yamamoto actually, Yamamoto's the frail one, he tells Yamamoto to end this. This militia consists of roughly about, I'd say, 30 people. This allows, this allows, well, I'd say, I'd say Yamagishi should take down at least 10 of them, but Yamamoto would enter, uh, allows Yamamoto to take down 10 of them, Yamagishi would help him, and they finish off the group as they work best as a duo. They're the most frail, they have the most tactics. It's also, they're the smartest. The smartest and the most frail, yet they have the best tactics and the best skill, besides Takemichi and Akun. Suzuki's their odd one out. So, uh, yeah. Now, going forward, Takemichi and Hina go on, still being friends, but now the next day, Kiyomasa wants more. So when Takemichi first fought Kiyomasa, this Takemichi was undisciplined, unruly, and a bitch, basically. So, the Kiyomasa that he fought the first time, he beat within an inch of his life, never stopping until Akun pulled him away, because cops were called. 
So yes. Now, going forward. When it came to Minimo Kotakami, Jukonaki meets Mikey, Kiyomasa came with the entire army of the fighting rank place that he had going on. Takemichi, though, wasn't phased. When Akun were a dynamic duo, and Akun was the only person Takemichi has worked with, or has worked well with in the last 12 years. He misses this. In fact, he came up with new tactics on the spot. And Akun, Akun follows up. All this all Akun does for Takemichi, so this was perfect. With this, they beat all roughly 100 students there. Thing is, Takemichi acts as Akun's shield, and it doesn't even hurt. Akun Ak acted, acted as the spear, Takemichi was a spiked shield. So, spear and shield duo. Takemichi meets Mikey, who calls him Takemichi still, but it was easier, so it didn't matter. Kiyomasa couldn't even rise to his feet, so he doesn't get kicked by Draken, wasn't even embarrassed by him. But well, it takes away one plot point right there. Mikey would ask Takemichi to join, well, Tomon. But the only way to save Hina would be this route. Reluctantly, still hating delinquents, but having no other choice, Takemichi would nod, saying, Yes, he wants to be high up, nowhere else. And with this, Mikey would, Mikey would run the legends of Takemichi Hanigaki, he, the, the, hmm, I didn't think the title of Takemichi. We have the Invincible Mikey, and that's it. Or we have Draken being known as Dragon, or Draken. Hmm. And I guess Shinichiro, or the type of the heads of Black Dragons, would be known as the Black Dragon. So, we don't know what to do. But, I'll count Takemichi as possibly, well... I'll say the rampaging demon. Takemichi had that in his past life, and Takemichi says, That's what he'll call himself, because he prefers that. The only reason he didn't kill Kiyomasa is because he knows that the school that school's still going on, so cops would be called. They might keep chuckle at the booth of the ruthlessness of Takemichi. And uh yeah. Next day. This is where Hina would slap Mikey, instead of Hina slapping Mikey, unless she went in for a slap, well, she wouldn't. She knows that she can tell that Mikey is strong. Takemichi is stronger. That's all she knows. Even with, with even with the Mikey Draken duo, Takemichi's presence alone demanded thousands of times more power. I'm gonna give you an image of what Takemichi looks like in the eyes of others. Hold on. This is the presence of Takemichi Hanagaki. That is what he gives off. That Im immense presence. And that was the main reason Mikey requested Takemichi into Tomon. It's not even being Kiyomasa, it's being terrifying. So, uh, yeah. Now on the street, Takemichi would pass, pass Kisaki, not even realizing it, but also not caring, to be quite frank. Uh, pause one more time, sorry for this. Later, after Hina you know, attempted to slap Mikey and Cannon, this time she didn't, she was introduced to Takemichi's friends, Mikey and Draken. Hina and Takemichi go on a train, they hang out. Takemichi and Hina discipline some unruly students, and, well, that's it. Eventually, though, Takemichi does head to the future, where he meets Atsushi, who's upper echelon Tomon. In fact, he would take Draken's place. The reason he took Draken's place, he beat Draken half to death in a fight. Or if you're correct, they beat each other, have to death in a fight, after Takemichi finds out in person talking to Akun. Though Akun wants to see if he stands the medal to Takemichi Hanagaki, and as they fight, simply put, Akun compares Takemichi to Mikey, saying that Takemichi is just as, in, just as invincible, but not as skilled. Mikey only practiced one martial art, only uses one move. That one move is invincible. Misha chuckles before saying he'd never go all out on a friend, how could he? As he just turns around walking away, and telling, telling Akun, let's go back down, have a beer, talk more. Akun's eyes were, uh, well, they were whitened, but, well, he's happy Takamichi hasn't stopped training. But Akun said he went back down for the beer, would walk over the roof, calling Takamichi his hero, then jumping off. 
technically share the same reaction as before, even with Naoto, but it doesn't matter to save everyone, he vows to destroy the gangs of his generation. Now, going forward again. This will likely be the, uh, hmm. I think this is where he wakes up with Emma on top of him. I mean, he does wake up with Emma on top of him, simply put, he is not phased. Emma, yes, more than his type, but still, no. He knows her name. He studied more than he needed to. This Takemichi, he's highly intelligent, only when it calls for it. And he called for it because this will lead to a ton of fights. Who doesn't study future fights? Or who doesn't study fights that they know are going to happen? So he's aware of Emma Sano. She was in the police records, records as Mikey's sister. Takemichi usually pushed her off for saying that he's a member, he's a member of Tomon. He can never sleep with his leader's sister. You know what was shocked? Well, Hina. Emma was shocked. But impressed that Takamichi's physique was still that massive. In fact, in fact, his torso, or in fact, his back, was riddled with scars. Now, with someone meeting, well, Hina still overhears what Takamichi and Hina, or Takamichi and Emma, had done, but Takamichi was the one that pushed her away. But when uh, Takamichi is talking to Peon, who tried to intimidate him, well, Emma would talk to Dragon, Mikey, and Hina, asking if they know about Takamichi's back. Hina says she saw it once, but then never again. Takamichi's like a white beard, but in a different way. He, 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 he doesn't run from fights, but vows to make sure his friends never get hurt. So, he uses his back as a shield, so they don't face the horrors that he does. He makes sure they only see his face, and that he's not phased, he is not scared. He is just glad to see them. That's what he makes sure they see. So his back, so his back is facing the trouble that they are facing. Covered in bruises, slashes, stabs, you name it, he's been hit by it. Take away bullets. So yes, I mean she was never put in the doghouse, he was always happy. But also, um, Manjiro still has a whole thing where he vows to destroy, uh, well, he vows to destroy Mobius. But this isn't why we're talking to his goals, as he's allowed his voice to cheer on. In fact, Takamichi is put into a division. But he's also not given a full cloak. But Mitsuya, yeah, well, he's not even talking to a join, so his uniform isn't ready. But Takamichi simply says he doesn't need a full uniform. He just wants, he, just, he needs Tomon pants, maybe a ribbon, that's it. So Mitsuya hands him the Tomon pants, that say Tomon down the sides. And he's given a ribbon, that of like a captain. But... A friend of Takamichi would give him something else. This friend being named Hakai Shiba. Hakai hears the stories of Takamichi Hanagaki from Mitsuya from other schools. Takamichi is like the dream taiju. One who doesn't hurt his friends, his siblings. He protects them, protects them like they're his own. So Hakai, well, he has Takamichi his uniform. Hakai being a bit bigger, but Takamichi wears Hakai's jacket like a cape. Mitsu chuckles, saying that he'll finish Takamichi's hoodie to make it as big as Hakai's. In order to fit Hakai's body. But Takamichi does not mind this, so, yeah. Now, Takamichi would spy on Dragon and Mikey for a day, and not understand how Takamata Tomon would fall apart, and how Tomon would, uh, well, split. If he's somewhere to go, to say that. So, uh, yeah, next part. Now, this is a backstory, and then we see Takamichi and, um, Takamichi and, Na and Naoto meeting adult Osanai, who is nothing, who's nothing different, but in fact scared Takamichi. So that day, Takamichi killed a few people, or almost did. In fact, no, he did. Their brutal beatings from him led to them dying later. For some reason, Takamichi was so mad, he ended up killing someone. Doesn't know who made him that mad or why, but he still did it. Now, back to the future. Takamichi, Mikey, Pachin, Payon, Draken. They're all in the warehouse, discussing their next plans for Mobius. Takamichi doesn't really mind it. Going on. <clears throat> Going on, Takamichi and all them, they're, they're still talking. Takamichi just says that he can go in and crush them on his own. He doesn't need help. Payon even says he'll join in. But Pachin says that, he, that Tomon needs to do this, specifically him. So everyone will go in alone to be him. But Takamichi would describe this thing, Pachin is nothing but a tank. He doesn't have the skill to do so. Before they're gonna argue, Mobius walks in, Osanai approaches. But Takamichi simply says he wants to fight Osanai first. They're both boxers. 
This did annoy a few of them, but, uh, well, yeah. oh wait, pause. Alright, so, Pachin was up first, Pachin had to show off some skill, she tried avoiding getting hit, doing a bit better than before because Takamichi's words struck a chord with him. It made him open his eyes to see that he is not strong, he just pushes. So with this, Pachin gets hit less, but still. He does still get defeated by, Os by, by Osunai. But Osana is pretty roughed up, actually. Pachin's a tank, like a lot of other characters, so his strength is that of incredible, of incredible miles and in lengths. Going on, we go to, I'm probably going to say, hmm, probably to Osana wanting to fight Mikey. Mikey simply says, Osana, you're going to fight our, our newest recruit, Akimichi Hanagaki. If this actually if you the crowd back off, shaking, not wanting to fight Takamichi. Osana is like, what are you cowards backing off for? What? Why? But few of them simply just say, Sorry, boss, but even in our areas, he's crushed our school single handedly, or his lackeys have crushed schools. We don't think we think we can attend that, sir. Osana smirks, as if this could prove his power to a further, to a further degree. With this, Osana will punch at Takamichi, but simply put, Takamichi just lifted his chin up and slammed it back down forward, like, kind of like, like slamming his chin down at Osana, at Osanai. Oh, sorry, Osanai's wondering, wondering, wondering what this will do, but Takamichi isn't going, isn't going for the knuckles or anything like that. Simply going for kind of like the ridge of the fingers, a bit above. So with this, Takamichi breaks around two of Osanai's fingers. Osanai yells in pain, but Takamichi would then grab Osanai to the head, slamming it into the ground full force, making a giant puddle of blood pool under Osanai's head with his mouth foaming a flowing pool of blood. Later, Takamichi ends up seeing Baji, Payon, and all of them, pretty, not Baji, Pachin, Payon, Mikey, and Draken defeat most of Mobius on their own, as Mikey called a cop, called, called an ambulance while beating them. Cops had arrived as well, but they're not wearing gang uniforms, only Mobius's, so they assumed these were delinquents, or popular, that were just being picked on, and they ended the fight quickly. Takamichi was given a quick warning, because, well, one, he'd not be old enough to go to jail, Juvie wouldn't hold up too well for attempted murder, but also, well, Takemichi has some scars to prove that he's an innocent guy. All he does is protect people. But also, witnesses. In fact, Mobius is even processing against Osanai. So, uh, yeah. Hachin does a stab, doesn't stab Osanai. Nothing else happens like that. There's no Toman split. In fact, well, Pachin and Takemichi cannot be closer than anything else as Pachin would beg Takemichi to teach him to fight. Takemichi isn't against it, so he agrees. Now, where else could we go? Probably the festival. But in this one, well, Kiyomasa has his... Has his uh, he has his stabbing target set for Takemichi, but Takemichi finds them like he does in canon. But, uh, simply put, Takemichi destroys them. We have knives, Takemichi's a tank, but also he has his Tomon cloak. So uh, when they try to uh, attack him, Takemichi simply just waves his cloak in the way, and as soon as they think, they're like, oh, we'll slash through it. Takemichi will grab one of them by their arm and throw them into everyone else, and as they're on the ground, Takemichi will just grab, grab like, say, like a nearby barrel. It's full, it's full of old chopped wood. Takemichi slams it down on them full force, and as the barrel is still full of sticks, he just grabs a lighter from one of them, throws it in the barrel, and through anime physics, the barrel lies on fire, burning them severely until they can get it off them. When they do, they focus on their pain of being burnt, only for Takamichi to pretty easily destroy them once again, and walk off to the crowd where Draken's being beaten up. Takamichi already has phone out, and texts Akun, bring the gang. They knew where he was because he was on a date, because he told them don't call him. But they arrive, if they arrive in the nearest parking lot, and so Takamichi arrived, they had already defeated half half of Mobius that was there. In fact, they're fighting they're fighting Hanum, they're fighting Hanma as a group right now. And they're doing pretty good actually. So they'd be half of Mobius, Draken, and Mitsu assault the other half. Takamichi walk up to Hanma, who's panting, and all his friends are still panting as well. Takamichi with one hand would pick up Hanma and headbutt him in the face full force. Right in the jaw area, not even wanting to know who he was, just knocking him out. And Draken shocked. He beat Osanai easier than that. 
and still he beat this guy in one blow like it was nothing. That guy was obviously someone that Mikey, Mikey would even put up, need to put up a fight against. So he's questioning, how strong is Takamichi Hanagaki? The second music says help drag him to his feet, and Hina brings him a, Hina and Emma bring him warm towels to put on his head and everything. Akun would yell as Takamichi stabbed him in the side. Or not Akun. Draken would yell. Draken tries to get up one for Takamichi to grab to grab uh Kiyomasu by the throat. He's gonna tell everyone to cover their eyes. They would do so as they hear as they hear a very loud squelching noise. But they look down at Kiyomasa, who's holding his throat, as blood is pooling from his throat. Like means his hand is, dri- is dripping blood, and he simply says, "Walk away." No even questions it as her eyes are all well starting, darting. Who did this? Who could have did this? It couldn't have been Takamichi. Why would he do this? But they don't take a second look at Kiyomasa's body; they just keep moving. With this, members of Mobius are blamed for this instead of Takamichi. Now, I wonder what Takamichi did. He tore out Kiyomasa's throat. Takamichi is less, well, he's less nice in fights. He, in fact, would be the one that's on the more brutal side. But also, he refuses to let people see the crimes he commits. So, uh, yeah. What else? What else? This is an introduction of Valhalla as well, by the way. Takamichi has the future. He meets Hina. Hina still gets hit by the car. This is not much different, besides the fact that when Naoto would leave, Takamichi and Hina get busy in the car. Takamichi goes to wash up. Hina's doing her washing up in the car, and the car slams into her. Worst part about this, if Hina did not get hit by the car after being rammed by Takamichi, Takamichi may have had a son. But that was crushed before anything important could have happened inside Hina's body. Well, anything new happened inside Hina's body. You know, he, he his funeral commences, Takamichi would receive a clover necklace to match his. But he, he, he rips his off, puts it in his pocket, and gives Hina to Naozo's. Nato takes it, asking Takamichi what he plans to do. But Takamichi tells him that the brutal, uh, the brutal fights, probably would follow his rampage after this, would be, uh, would be something that Hino would be disappointed in him in it, would he be disappointed in that he has caused. It would cause him a disappointment in Hina and himself. But he refuses to let this stand. Even now, delinquents terrorize him as one of the gangsters. So they'll show them how gangsters should act. But first, they stop to, they stop to visit Draken in prison, and it works out pretty well, actually. But still, not much different. Now, Potten is not in prison, Kasaki is not a division captain. But Baji still leaves. Kisaki was not announced as first event captain like he expected, because he doesn't know much about Takemichi besides the fact that he had beaten Osunai, he beat Hanma, and he beat... Well, he beat Osunai, he beat Hanma, he beat Kiyomasa. No one knows, besides the main group that was at a festival, that he killed Kiyomasa. But then again, he'd beaten, already, he'd beaten, already beaten up, well, fighters. Well, well he surprised attack Kiyomasa. The armies he'd beaten, those, those were different. He had friends with him that he sent to do the work, mostly. So, everyone thinks he has sloppy seconds, so far. Unless you're in Tomon, then you know he's powerful. Hanma didn't even correct, didn't even correct Kisaki, because he thinks that if he did, Kisaki's plans would be delayed, and he prefers to see the current outcome. He wouldn't interrupt that. But Takamichi, the 21st division captain, Kisaki would ask why. But the draft was to Tomon, what he did at Kiyomasa. He stands up saying, well, one, Takamichi has the guts to do something that no one else here has. Well, Kazaki would ask what this is. Takamichi would put his head down in shame. The Draken says, he killed Kiyomasa at the festival for stabbing him. Well, that's Wyden and Mikey ask Takamichi how he killed Kiyomasa. Takamichi would grab, would, grab a, would grab a concrete brick for crushing it in his bare hand, saying, his grip strength is pretty good. Kiyomasa's throat was weak. How do you think? It assumes that grip strength tore Kiyomasa's throat out. Those who thought more simply assumed he just snapped Kimasa's neck in one hand, which would not have been bad. He could have done that as well. But it would have been less, uh, bloody. Kimasa needed to bleed as much as Takamichi did. So yeah, also Budgie knows better, knows better than punch Takamichi. Takamichi wouldn't, would punch Kisaki, but that end things too quickly. 
using them to make sure make sure Kazaki suffers mentally and physically. That one punch would end his life right then and there. He knows it. Now, forward again. Kazushi, or if you guys don't know his full, don't know his first name, it's Amagishi, that's his last name. He explains everything to Takamichi about the gangs. Takamichi already knew them, he just needed to be more informed about someone who's more obsessed of these times. Because of Toru meet Takamichi, Takamichi would go in to see, would go into the hideout seeing Baji beating up his vice captain. But no one would stop Takamichi walking up to Baji and kicking him once, solid in the ribs. Everyone heard a loud crack as Baji hit the ground holding his side. Takamichi would grab away, would drag away to Chifuyu. Fuyu's driving away, asking why Takamichi did that. Takamichi already told Chifuyu he didn't understand why he'd be doing this. Or he already, he already understands why Chifuyu's doing this. He knows that Baji is just a spy. No logical man like Baji, who knows the full history of Tomon, would leave like this. Kazutora is just an ignorant bastard stuck in his ways. Baji is beyond those ways. There's no way he'd do this. Or at least from what, from what Takamichi heard about, heard about heard about him from Mikey. Chifuyu would nod. And with this, well, this is their friendship. Or their partnership. Now, Takamichi is the future where he hears of Mikey killing Kasutora in the big fight. Also, Takamichi versus, well, Mikey. This fight between, between Mikey and Kasutora would then turn to Mikey versus Takamichi. Mikey had lost, Kasutora had died, Takamichi leaves Tomon for good, dragging along half of it with him. He just run his own gang, simply put, he runs a small store. He thought it was kind of interesting, though, so he doesn't mind it all too much. So, uh, yeah. But the Honey Brothers, they intend to see the tournament, or the fight between two gangs, because they have particular interest in Takamichi Hanagaki, seeing if his protective big brother, Drive, can defeat their true bro bro brotherly power. Drive versus power. So, kind of kind of kind of would be if they did fight. Spoiler. Now, the fight between Tomon and and Ahala kicks off. Goes Toro tries to sucker punch or sucker punch Mikey, but Takamichi elbows his hand, breaking all his fingers, and pimp slapping him into the ground. He tells tells Draken that Draken should be able to handle this. See said Draken. We go on to a flashback. After Takamichi had killed Kiyomasa, Draken asked Takamichi to teach him how to fight. Telling, that, telling him that Mikey's grandfather is not fit enough to teach him martial arts anymore. He may, he, he may be more skilled, but his physical strength is far surpassing that of an old man. So, he should use someone who's more his level, but still probably as equally skilled as he is. Would Takamichi, per training, personal training, with, with a few friends. Takamichi, Mitsuya, Akai, Akun, Namagishi Yamamoto, and Suzuki. That's his group. Now adding Shifuyu, though. This allows Draken to actually fight on a scale similar to Mikey. So it's not an obvious loss. But, uh... This did allow, uh... Draken to pretty easily beat down Kazutora. Jifuyu would fight alongside himself. Fight alongside Takamichi still, but... It's a relatively easy fight. Jifuyu is probably about as strong as Bachi is at this point, though. And that's just from a few tips Takamichi picked up from fighting, or from experience of fights. Now, Mikey is being ganged up on by Katsutora and his lackeys eventually. Well, the most simple way to put this, uh, this is stopped quickly. Takamichi would arrive first and beat down that entire group like they're nothing. I believe they're brothers, they have a name. What is this? Uh,. Chonmei, Chonbo, Choji. They're brothers. When they hold down when they hold down Takamichi, or Mikey, Mikey began lifting one of them up quickly, with he's grabbed by the back of the, by the back of his shirt and thrown into his two brothers by Takamichi with one hand. Mikey would grab their pipe and tell, 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 tell Mikey, go easy in Kasutora. Mikey tells him to shut up, but Takamichi then hits him in the back with a pipe, telling him then he'll stay down until he learns what he needs to do. Everyone's like shocked by this, but Takamichi continues to defend Mikey, but Draken says what he did was for the best. If 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 he let Mikey continue, they would all be in jail, he assumes. Kasutora tries to attack Takamichi with the, with the three brothers, but Draken would jump, 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 jump him with Kasutora, 
or not Kotora, with Jifu, you'd fight Kotora, and the duo pretty easily overwhelms Kotora. Them alone could do it themselves, and they both beat Kotora into the dirt before Baji is stabbed. <sighs> Saki's plans have a wrench in them, but now Hanma came back for round two, or tried to. But suddenly his punch is stopped by a certain red haired red haired friend of Takemichi. Hanma and Agumi trading punches. This goes strength versus raw endurance. But thing is, Hanma is not as knowledgeable at fighting as Akun is. Takemichi picked up picked up tip tips. I almost said the other word. He picked up tips from fighting like Warren Che from uh from uh, uh look as I'm kind of the name of that series. I love it, I love it more than my own life. Uh this shows that I'd even forget to breathe. Jesus Christ. Talking to you his way of fighting is all like Warren Che, but instead of Jeet Kune Do, it'd be boxing and Taekwondo. So basically, uh, well, uh, Akun kind of has the Jeet Kune Do aspect, just not, it's all not Warren Che level, the level of skill or strength. This allows uh, Akun to pretty easily punch every aspect of Hanma, point where his durability cannot, cannot stand a chance to improve his endurance. Oh, jaw punch. I've faced that before. Temple punch. Rare, but i faced that. Pit of the stomach. Obvious. But then, the one he didn't expect. Top of the foot. Knocked down Akun, but Akun rolled, grabbing his leg, and elbowing it full force on top of his foot. Akun, Akun not sped Hanma, Hanma's feet, and Hanma tried, Hanma tried to kick, but he was limping instead. So that's low kick that came forward. Instead, Akun just, just punched right at his knee, full force. Akun is faster than Hanma, and stronger physically. So with this, this defeated Hanma by taking out one of his legs. But that one leg being taken out, his durability isn't a chance anymore. He was in too much pain already. So Hanma is quickly defeated by, by, by Akun. Now, uh, later. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Hmm. Hmm. So this will probably be the end of the fights, and Kazutora is arrested, but for less time. In fact, he'd pro 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 probably be let out in the next few months. So, uh, yeah. So, Kazutora, only for, well, for engaging in such acts, will only be let out. Will only be let out in the span of probably about six months, not six years. So, he's safe for now. Later, Takamichi would end up going to see uh, MC Draken and go to Draken's house where he's mistaken as a customer. Because, well, he's a bit, he looks a bit more adult than everyone there besides Draken. Draken's height is kind of the only thing that distinguishes him as an adult from Takamichi. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we go forward again to, I'm going to say, probably just, uh, almost birthday present ability. Not ability. Shit. Most birthday present incident, but incident. Well, uh, it's relatively easy to go go and say what happens. What happens. Well, how to phrase this? There's no detective incident. Talking to the aware of Emma and Draken dating. He knows. He knows that he's been to Mikey's house. He's he's been seen a lot. So uh, he's aware of their whole relationship. Now. Takamichi goes back to the future, seeing his new look, but goes to the upper echelon meeting, and he knows Akai. He knows all of them there, actually. Hanma gives him a dirty look, but doesn't, doesn't really mind that. He knows Hanma hates him. He probably always will. But then we have Takamichi and Shifuyu being kidnapped by Kisaki. That goes relatively to the same. But when the lights go out, Takamichi pretty easily broke his restraints, and all everyone hears from the top floor is a loud crunch. Blue lights turn on, just cause Taurus panting, wondering what's going on, and what the loud crunch was. He, he can't find anyone when he's hitting him like a brick wall. But he sees just Takemichi with a bloody pulp in his hands, and Kasaki's body falling from that bloody pulp in his hand. With raw strength, Takemichi crushed Kasaki's head like a grape. Takemichi would stare down, stare down, would stare down at Kasaki, calling him a bastard. Now, Later, this is not much different than the original arc, but it's Kazutora doesn't fight Takamichi. Takamichi has still Kazutora the truth with Naoto, thinking that it'd be the best option, and Naoto does agree with this, actually, after hearing Takamichi's reasoning. With this, 
Katsura understands why Takamichi didn't fix Tomon with his raw strength like he fixes everything else. But eventually Takamichi had his back to the past. In the past, Takamichi would then meet Hakai, the bowling alley. But this turns out they're not on a double date, but Hakai, Hakai was hanging out there with Takamichi and, and Hina, who were on a date. Hakai was just third wheeling. They met Yuzuha along the way, and she began fourth wheeling with them. So, yeah. Then it goes on to this being, and so this being the same, besides Takamichi simply telling Hina, go home. Hina just listened to Takamichi, knowing that if he was afraid for her, it'd be best to go away, at least go hide. But as she walked away, Takamichi held out his phone, she grabbed it, and ran. She made a call to Akun and his friends, but also most of the first division they could muster, being Baji and Shifuyu. Baji stays out of Tomon, watching the gang, watching different gangs in the shadows. But then, Shifuyu is on the division. Both Sakamichi is able to, able to fight Taiju in the meantime, going blow for blow with him, holding back on Taiju, just to see what he's made of. As Taiju intrigues him. But eventually... Once he heard a motorcycle rev, he was headbutted Taiju once, and that knocked him out right then and there. And everyone would notice one thing about Takemichi. Taiju hit him more, but Takemichi is still standing. Think of this as, uh, I don't say Katakuri versus Luffy, because Luffy hit Katakuri 16 times, oh, or, yeah, Luffy hit Katakuri 16 times, Luffy, Luffy was hit more than 16 times. But reverse it. Think of it as like reverse power. Takemichi only hit Kiyomasa 16 times. Or hit, or hit, he hit, uh, uh, Taiju 16 times. Taiju hit him double that. Yeah, Taiju was the one on the ground, bleeding. Takemichi was barely even bruised. So, yeah. But now with this, Takemichi's first division would pretty easily defeat Black Dragons right then and there. Well, they are scolded briefly by, uh, the first... Uh, by the head captain and the vice captain of Tomon, Mikey and Dragon. But this already establishes the Black Dragons under, under their control, ending this arc right here and now. But because the anime is, well, picking back up, I'll give you all a chance to keep up with this. But I ended the arc early for the sake of this story, so Takamichi is now frozen in time for the sake of this what if, or for this part one. Like and subscribe if you guys think that, uh, that I should I should go should go on to part two for the story, continuing until Takemichi's and continuing until the until the Tenjiku arc basically. But uh yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. The voice some of this my this is my story my storyteller voice. Comment all you want in the comments, I don't care. I think this makes the story more engaging. Adios.